Chozo ruins. Hello and welcome back to part three of the Metroid Prime hard mode playthrough. Last time we got a lot of stuff. Three, uh, wait, no, yeah, three missile packs and two E-tanks and the charge beam. And these guys are back, as you can see on the radar. But uh, this time, the goal is going to be beat the first boss. That was the mushrooms, apparently. I thought it was those guys waking up. Like, wait a minute. Yeah, the goal now is going to be beat the first boss. Because I believe we can beat the first boss within a rough effort. A rough uh, bleh, bleh, words. Wow, maybe I should stop. <laughs> a rough estimate of an episode's length. Now I'm I'm trying not to keep them being too long to start, but as we get further in the game, save points are gonna get further and further apart. Less natural stopping points. Like I've had that. Okay, I know I can make it this far in this amount of time. Especially towards the end of the game, there are some pretty dangerous locations that might take me a bit. Even just g doing uh, the normal kind of play way. So we'll see about how I handle it then. But some episodes may go a bit, a bit long later on in the series. Just because the game, you know, expects more out of you to earn a save point. Anyway, this room, this is a weird room. I think this is the way I want to go first. It, not into the drink, though. Yeah. Meet Stone Toad. He got them eyes. He's a friend, for now. We're going to kill him later. Not now. For now, he's a friend. But later, he's no longer a friend, and thus he must die. That's how it works, right? Oh, right, this boss. Our third boss, technically still not actual boss, but also I think this one actually has a health bar? No, it does not. The incinerator drone does not have a health bar. Right, I have to wait for... that it has to actually let me attack it I was gonna say where's the other wasp usually there's more than one wasp uh, it just didn't want to show up that's all okay they're they're periodic I don't remember that part nope not who I wanted to target I believe this is also three phases. So the, as soon as it opens again, it'll be over, I think. To the point that I'm not going to bother. Actually, I am. Yeah, this should be the end. I was going to say, I'm not going to bother hitting the last wasp. No, it's four cycles. Oh, what I'm thinking is three cycles of there being wasps, is what I'm thinking of. This should be the last hit. Wait, why did it do the dash? There we go. Yeah, no, super simple. Not really a danger. That is apparently what getting bombs looks like. Morph ball bomb acquired. Drop a morph ball bomb. And nothing about spring ball, which this game has. Why does it not tell you that you have spring ball? I don't know. 
that would be kind of very important to tell people. If you played this remaster and did not realize there is Spring Ball, well, there you go. You would only know to check for Spring Ball if you know Spring Ball exists as a thing in Metroid Prime at, in general, because I'm pretty sure that was introduced in Trilogy, I think? Also, Stone Toad is no longer friend. See? Now, I think Trilogy had it and even told you about it, but that might have just been corruption. That might have just been corruption. Anyway, now that we have bombs, we can do this, this, this puzzle, which is not really a puzzle. We drain the water, and it tells us exactly where we need to go next. Well, no, it doesn't. It just, it technically did, but it didn't. Eh, eh. There's lots of time they are expecting you to need to do normal morph bombs. Now that's where we have to go. Now it's telling us where exactly we have to go. Because if we look over here, we could infer that the only other room with a generator is where we have to go next. But there is that other pathway that we just have not looked at. And I don't remember if there's even anything down there. So for the sole purpose of double checking... Oh! That's a trap to make you think you have to go that way. Even though there's no glass there. Okay, never mind. Oh look! We'll be back here in a bit. And by a bit, I mean quite a bit. Yeah, I came here specifically just for an extra E-Tank. Whoop, I did not want to leave Morph Ball. Not really the most important uh, extra thing, but this is... that Spider Bar track is needed Spider Bar. Spider Ball track is needed later. That is a required pathway, just not yet. So doing the puzzle now, might as well. Because health. I want health. Health is good. Now we have to come back to this later, but remember that as well. Remember that there's an item up there. But now that we have Morph Ball Bonds, we can actually do this entire room. Because this room also has four runic symbols. I believe there's... Yeah, one on the tree there. And I believe the other two are both higher up. This is as far as we could go. Get out of here, Pive. This is as far as we could get without Morph Ball Bombs, because these are specifically Morph Ball Bomb Blocks. Nothing else works, not even missiles. Right, yeah, there is one here. That's what I thought. And then the last one... Get out of here. And then I believe the last one is... Thank you, weed. Visible when you actually get up here. Yeah, it's right there. There. I did better on this one than the other one. The other one's t a bit trickier. I'd say, just by technical accounts. But I'm sure... Wait, did, did I not scan that? Was that... Okay, now. As you can see, it was sandstone, and sandstone is code for Morph Ball Bomb. 
Yeah, I could see some people having more issues on that room just because of the verticality, and if you forgot the ones down at the bottom, you have to jump back down and climb all the way back up again. Get some health out of these boxes. Because we have the first actual boss, Flagra, who is out of scanning range. Now this, the scanning enemies is supposed to tell you their weak point and how you beat them. And you can see in the pictures there, the, the, I mean, not only did the cutscene show you, but the pictures there on the left show you, hey, the fact that it's having light shined on it is kind of important. Let's see. Yeah, see, I don't even need to charge beam that. It makes it easier, I would say. But you do not need charge beam for this. Especially because, you know, you could technically miss it on the way to this boss. I'm melting! I'm melting! Even though I'm burning! Why am I melting and shrinking in a fire? That's not how it works. But... Immediately regrows. You know, I just realized. Can I? I'm trying to get a good look of. Okay, I just lost an entire. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say I wanted to get a good look at the fact that like. Really? He actually got it back down? Yeah, you're actually supposed to start stunning him for the multiple. I think he's a little bit more aggro on this version, on hard mode. You know, I wanted to, like, get a close look on his face. Because, like, I just noticed... Watch his cutscene, watch his face. I just noticed that, like, like skull-looking part there. I never noticed that. I assume that was just, like, just the mouth, but, like, he's got, like, a little tiny face! You got, like, a tail- Ow. Oh. Why did you attack all the way over there? Yeah, this is why you want to charge. I think technically... I wanted to morph ball- Oh, it's not doing damage. Okay, good. I got it in time. Yeah, he's a lot more aggro on this difficulty. I think. Oh, come on, that was not fair. On normal mode, I did not have to put in this much work just to keep the the mirrors down. It could also partly be because of the, the health thing that some sources say that Flagra does, uh, or not just Flagra, all enemies take and do more damage. That, like, you... Hello? And I can't get the health that was there. Okay, good. All the way around. Awesome! Okay, one cycle on there. I didn't have to worry about the mirrors. You know, uh, some sources say enemies do more damage and you deal less damage. Some say it's just enemies do more damage. Which was definitely felt during this boss fight. 
and losing a health tank immediately because I was trying to get a picture. Or not picture, but a good look. But now the water is clean, and we get... The Varia Suit, mistranslated from Barrier Suit. Heat areas are now accessible, so that Magmore Caverns that we skipped by. And as we can see, because you're probably going to accidentally fall in, it's all pure down here. There's no items down here, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure that jump is, like, impossible on purpose just to get you to see, hey, you can go in water now. If you didn't get it earlier, if you didn't understand, you can go in water. Go have fun, go play in the water. <gasps> right, you. This guy is telling you, don't constantly have charge beam going at all times. Now, there is also a trick to get over that gap, I think. But, I'm pretty sure it's no longer possible in this version of the game. That somehow you're supposed to like land on that block and then like power bomb or not power bomb bomb jump off of one of those enemies. Oh look, we're back at the elevator that I mentioned. But yeah, you can like bomb jump off of the enemy. Or maybe the enemy that you do use is no longer there. That like you land on it because the moment you drop off of that platform where the door is, something changes in the flogger room. It's like, it happens immediately. You don't have to go all the way down the tower. You can climb back up immediately without the very obvious spider ball track that was right there. You don't have to use those. However, I don't think that's possible anymore with this remake. Oh, there's a Chozu Lore there. I will go scan that after I'm done with this puzzle. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's just the enemy's not there or those spin guys spinning around just don't let you land on them anymore. That I'm pretty sure you just can't land on them anymore. Or whether or not it's both things, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember how to do the trick. I've never done it myself. I, this, the, the pillar that it's on was getting in the way. Show the script. But yeah, no, uh... I've never done it. I've seen it done. Again, speedruns and all that. But we'll have to go back there the natural way uh, another time. Now there's not much else I can do here. I could have gone right to uh, Magmore from uh, from that missile room and probably would have been better too because there's a save right in the start of Magmore. But you know, we got time. We can quick grab something in here. Oh, wait, I have to do this first. We can get some missiles in here, is there? No, okay. I can't remember if there was a, a wall there I could break as well. There is a save point right... Excuse you, game. I was holding up so that that wouldn't happen. 
Oh! Did a bee lodge me out of it? Is that what happened? But yeah, there's another missile here. One of the few I'll go out of my way to get just because it's 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 right there. It's not that far out of the way. Come on, move. I'm getting stuck on all the geometry. Let's just not go in that save room. Make that save room lonely. Because we do want... Oh, right. And in here. I can get this. I forgot about this one. It's a good thing I did take the long way, because that's a lot of missiles, and missiles are a really good attacking option. So I do want to have as many as I can get. This is, it is basically a main form of attack. Yeah, you have charge beam and all that, but missiles kind of are where all the damage is at in this game, if you didn't know. There's some kind of weak stuff involving missiles later, but also basically all the best stuff involves, it involves a lot of missiles. If you know, you know. Eh. Unfortunately, this room doesn't get... Oh, hey, I skipped a cycle. Doesn't get all that much faster. One cycle skipped is nice. But you know, let's take the elevator to Magmore. Now, Magmore isn't really what you might call a proper area. Like, it is, but also it isn't. Well, I guess I'll get more into that next time. Keep that in mind. I forgot this is missile locked for some reason. But keep that in mind. For next time, we're going to travel through it and see what's beyond. Take care and... May the power of Ananid Hogs be waste to your enemies.